Hello everybody, uh, this is a follow-up video on these Headway 38 120 HPs, 8 amp, uh, LifePo 4 cells, uh, 200 um, amp capable cells. These things are amazing, as you saw in my pri primary video. But I've had a few questions since I posted it yesterday. And, uh, you know, I, I feel they need to be answered. Uh, first question is, uh, how do you charge them? Well, I'm using a Turnergy uh, uh, charger. I'll show you how I connect it and how I charge them. Um, and also, next question was, uh, will it start your car cold? Yes, I, I believe it will. But uh, I didn't do that last time, so I'll do that this time. I'll go out there and, and uh, connect it. Uh, not very cold day today, but I'll, I'll show you what temperature everything's at before we, we uh, start the car. And uh, also testing, they, uh, you guys wanted to know, are they really 200 uh, amp uh, cells? And I, I realized that uh, I have a battery, uh, sorry, a car battery tester that I can use to find out what the amperage on these are. So I'm going to uh, connect that up and show you that as well. Okay, here's my Turnergy AccuCell 6 uh, balance charger. A uh, very small unit. I think it's that you can buy one for about 35 bucks um, on eBay, but uh, works just fine. Uh, all I do with this is connect it, uh, uh, you know, individually to each cell. So let's say, for example, for this first cell, all I would do is connect it to the positive terminal, like so, and to the negative terminal, and then run a charge cycle like uh, this. I'm connected to my computer. So basically I just start and go. Uh, I charge them up to 3.65. And uh, you know, right now this, this battery is pretty well topped up as you will see here. It'll, it'll actually, uh, you know, uh, fa finish the charge cycle pretty quickly. Um, currently, as you can see, it's going down to, it's down to 0 0.3 amps and uh, you know, basically what I would do is cycle from each, each one down the line and, uh, top them all up. And I will do that before I start the car up. So, um, you know, that's how I charge them. No, I know it's not optimal. Probably the most optimal way to do this would be get, to get a proper, uh, in this case, 12 volt charger that does LifePo and have a BMS connected to all four cells so that it balances them out correctly, uh, and protects them. So, yeah, uh, not the most optimal way to do things, but hey, it works. Works just fine. It's a little tedious because you got to go down each battery as opposed to do the whole thing at once. Okay, but that's that's uh, how I uh, charge these up. So I'm gonna stop that. Um, next question was, what you know, are they truly 200 million? Sorry, 200 amp hour cells. Well, I realized I got a battery uh, car battery tester that will show me that. So. I'll connect that up and, and uh, show you guys how that comes out so here it is here's the battery tester and i'll connect it uh first off let's see what the voltage is at on this whole pack i'll use my uh, dmm to uh get that number here we go and uh you can tell which was positive or negative all this marked here but the notch on the top is the positive uh um, terminal so look let's connect it here there you go, 14.43 volts, so it's pretty well fully charged. Um, and the only reason we hooked that up, I hooked that up, was to show you that this meter is somewhat accurate on this. Uh, you know, these are notoriously, th these types of chargers are, are, you know, not super accurate, but they're, 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 I'm sorry, these testers are not super accurate, but they're more than good enough. Let's, let's connect it and see what we get here. Okay, so yeah, you can see here that it's at 14 point. I don't know, looks like 14.4 or almost 14.5 there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, now I'm going to hit the charge button here, the uh, test button, and that'll show us the uh, amperage here on this green section, and it should be at the lower part of the 200, and it is. Uh, so you can see that it actually is a 200 amp uh, cell because that is the 200 amp uh, cold cranking amp uh, test there. So. We're there. I don't want to do it too much because I'll drain them too much and I got to spend too much time charging them up. But it does go down to the, the it, it hits the two, over the, the black mark into the green on the 200. So uh, we're good on, on that. There you go. So uh, yeah, 
amazing cells. I, uh, next, I'm going to top them up and uh, go out and start the car cold for you guys so you can see that happening. Um, not sure how that's going to go, but hey, let's be uh, fair and do a cold start on these things. So here we go with our cold starting test. I'll do a temperature te uh, check on the radiator hose, which is right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. And you'll see we're at 66 degrees. Hopefully we're focusing in on that. 66. Battery. 69. I just brought the battery in out from the uh, actual being out in, in, the, in my house. So, yeah, it's at 69. Uh, so now I'm just going to connect it and we're going to go. And the ambient temperature here, I'll just use it on anything on the car here. Like there. If you tell me. 67. So, yeah. We're starting cold here. So... Connect the negative. Here we go. Let's start up the car. And as you hear, it started the car up cold. Not a very cold day, but you know, uh, the engine does not need to be warm for it to start. Hear it running there. So, at this point, that's the cold start, uh, proving that it will start the car cold. Uh, let's uh, look at my telemetry. 14.4 um, 14 volts, 14.1 volts right now. Um, shut it off. And let's start it up again. Amazing. Well, hopefully that answers some of your questions on these uh, cells. The uh, 38-120s from uh, Headway and uh, alarm hookup on ebay again i'll put uh, links to that stuff in the video description below for you so you can buy these uh, uh, you know they are limited quantities so get them while you while you can um, love them work great uh, i know that the cold start test wasn't very cold 66 degrees uh, but i can't do anything about the ambient outside temperature so basically that's where i'm at uh, if we have another really bitter cold day you know where, where it's in the 30s or lower uh, I'll take it out again and uh, we'll do it again on a really cold day and see how it goes. I'm interested to see how that works as well. So yeah, that's as good as I can do on that uh, start test today. But uh, hopefully that answers uh, some of the questions you guys had on these uh, cells. Um, do me a big favor. If you like this video and help you out in some way, click on the like button here in the bottom right hand corner and give me a thumbs up. Uh, I appreciate that. It helps my channel. It helps my video. Uh, also, right here on the screen, you'll see a picture of me. That's a uh, subscription link. Click on the subscription link if you want to be subscribed to my channel. Also, as part of that process, uh, YouTube has added a bell icon while you're doing that. And that's the notification icon. If you click the bell icon, uh, you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. And then you can watch it at your own uh, leisure. All right. Like always, I want to thank you all for watching and for your time.